can't believe how busy this festival is, especially from the production side. It's staggering, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm Cameron Dykes from Fort William. I'm here uh, for Screen High working with Devstar Productions. Um, so far it's been a really busy day. I've already recorded three shows. We did the Pleasant Bites podcast. Um, I've just come out of Swan and Flanders. Uh, and I'm now just going into Matthew Crosby. So a hectic but really exciting day. During the show, if there's room, I just ooh, sit here and snap away. I'm Sheen Seaton from Forres, um, and I'm here down in Edinburgh at the Underbelly uh, because we are making podcasts which uh, go on iTunes every single day. So obviously they have to be entertaining, um, so, which means we have to uh, book really good guests, write good scripts, play games to make people want to download it and to get into the charts. Hi Christian, this is Breach from Downstar Productions and I'm just phoning you about Kwame Asante. Um, can you confirm that he is on his way? You're the only contact number I have for him. Right, no, he's not expected from the 15 minutes, but if you could let me know, it should put my mind at ease. Thank you very much Christian, bye. Oh, I'm trying to confirm. Although we book all the acts and we confirm them as well, um, on the morning you just have to phone again just to make sure that nobody has missed their taxis, changed their mind and not coming in. And it's usually the big acts that give us, I won't say the most bother, but you know, because you rely so heavily on them, mm -hmm. if they don't show, a bit of a disaster. And Richard any minute is going to say, have all the acts been phoned? And I say, yes. And Stephen K. Amos is our big, big act this morning and he's on his way. If you're a producer, you've got to find somebody that's really original, quite different, sounds different, has got a new take on things, because uh, it's very easy to find comics who are very samey at the moment. Yeah. Um, originality is the key. Okay. And what is your original? What's your different thing that makes you different? Because I am a South London-born boy, uh, when I was growing up watching comedy, it was not about uh, inclusivity, it was about a comic saying, uh, my wife is this, or racist jokes, or yeah. sexist jokes, or homophobic jokes, didn't really speak to me. So now, thankfully, 30 odd years later, we're seeing comedy which is about people's backgrounds, their cultures, yeah. their sexuality and identity, and I think it's really great. Trying to book, trying to book on some acts, and it is 20 past three. At 20 to five, I've got to be at the stand on in the city centre, see Mary Burke. I've booked her in for a, a performance piece on Saturday morning, and she, I know she'll be fine, but I just want to see her act, pick out the bit that I want her to perform, and voila. Okay, four analog mono outfits. So in like three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move the car. I'll be back in time. Okay. <laughs> editing, lots and lots of editing. There's, uh, we've got three podcasts on the go just now, and last night I was recording a Waverly Care charity gig, so edited that down, created a script for it, and next we're learning how to use Radio Mix. So now I'm just plugging bits into other bits, and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Lights will come on, and we'll see things happen.